Hi and welcome to NetApp KBTV. This video demonstrates the procedure to collect a purse stat from a cluster data on tap system on a Windows machine. This video is based on the KB ID 1015413. We'll be using perfstat version 8.3 which is downloaded from the support site in this demo. Also, we shall set up perfstat to work using an SSH key instead of a password for ease. Perfstat version 8.3 is a diagnostic data collection tool for cluster data on tap and data on tap running in 7 mode. This tool has a lot of features, I shall name a few. Mainly it captures all of the required performance information for multiple clusters with a single command. It automatically removes clusters that are not reachable and continues with the remainder of the clusters. It also gathers the information from metro cluster systems automatically. It captures information from nodes, local host, remote host and network switches. And the best part is it captures the data and returns it in the form of a zip or a tar file. It has many more features which can be checked online. Now let's see how to collect the perf stat. Firstly download open SSH from the site mentioned in the KB then install it to any location on the local host so I have installed it to C temp open SSH to be in line with the KB now let's navigate to the open SSH bin directory let's cd to c colon slash temp slash open SSH slash bin then let's create the default groups in the etc folder with the command mk group space hyphen l space dot dot slash etc slash group enter this prints the local group account from local machine to the file mentioned then let's create the default users with the command mk pass wd space hyphen l space dot dot slash etc slash passwd this prints the local user account from the local machine to the file mentioned. Then let's create the .ssh directory for the user with the command mkdir space c colon backslash users slash administrator that's the username slash .ssh Now let's generate the ssh public private key pair First we shall navigate to the newly created directory in the previous step. So that is cd c colon slash users slash administrator slash dot ssh. Now let's generate the ssh key c colon slash temp slash open ssh slash bin slash ssh hyphen keygen dot exe space hyphen t rsa let's enter the type id which is id underscore rsa and press enter passphrase should be blank once again the public private key pair has been generated now we shall change the permission of the private key to 400 otherwise the authentication with the key will not work so that will be c colon slash temp slash open ssh slash bin slash chmod dot exe space 400 space id underscore rsa we now need to copy the public key so let's type id underscore rsa dot pub so we can copy the entire key from here or else we can copy it from the location also Now we have copied it.
Now let's create the user perf stat on the controller. C colon slash temp slash open SSH slash bin slash SSH dot exe space hyphen O space strict host key checking equals to no space hyphen L admin space the cluster management IP space security login create space hyphen username space stat that's the user space hyphen application space SSH space hyphen auth method space public key space hyphen role space admin it's asking the password yeah it's created the user now we shall paste the key copied earlier to be copied to the controller for each prompt that we get we need to enter the admin password C temp slash open SSH slash pin slash SSH dot exe space hyphen o space strict host key checking equals to no space hyphen l admin space the cluster management IP space security login public key create space hyphen username space perf stat space hyphen public key space quotes let's enter the key copied close the quotes enter it's asking the password that's done the public key is created now let's confirm that the key was added with the command c colon slash temp slash open ssh slash bin slash ssh dot exe space hyphen o space strict host key checking equals to no space hyphen l space admin space the cluster management IP space security login public key show space hyphen username perf stat it's again asking the password so you can see that for the user perf stat this is the public key on the vserver now let's navigate back to the directory where we have perf stat so we have perfstat installed in this directory on the desktop cd to c colon documents and settings administrator desktop perfstat so we are in the directory where we have perfstat installed now let's run perfstat with the command perfstat 8.exe 
space the cluster management IP space hyphen T that's the time frame we'll select one that's minutes space hyphen I the iteration again we'll do one iteration space hyphen hyphen SSH private key hyphen file equals to the path where we have the RSA file that's here slash id underscore rsa space hyphen l post at that the user space hyphen hyphen mode equals to c for cluster space hyphen hyphen mcc that's for meta cluster enter it's executing the command once completed you will be able to see the perfstat in the form of a zip file in the location where we have perfstat installed as you can see there are three perfstats created we hope you find this video helpful please subscribe to netapp kb tv for more knowledge based videos thanks for watching